Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, you know, every so often I get a request for an element uh, in FED, and it just comes along and it kicks my butt. And this Mako turn was pretty much going to be that. I have fooled with this forever. Uh, you can see here I'm on versions. I got all the way up to version 2.7, meaning I went through version 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, etc., etc., etc. So I finally, I think I'm really getting close to nailing down what's going on in this uh, this element, this particular turn that B&M did. Uh, but it was pretty difficult. So for Christian Moore, uh, this is about as close as I'm probably going to get on this. Uh, it's fairly close. I think that you can either take the file or see what the general idea of it is and continue to work on this. So uh, I was convinced from the start, let's go into to version 2.2. And if we go into it and take a ride on it, Oop, they're calling me. Uh, you'll see that it's okay. There are a few minor issues here. Uh, the first one being that that turn right there is too sharp. Uh, and I was studying this from multiple angles, trying to figure out and making it look as much like b and uh, the shape of Mako as I could. Um, the way this rides is okay, but really this turn at the top here is just too sharp. Uh, you can see right there, it's just way too sharp. Um, but I was convinced that quintic double bump functions were the way to go with this. So you can see here, what I have is a quintic double bump. You'll see quintic and I chose double bump. Uh, it's about 77 degrees. And then what I did was, uh, if you ever put in a, a double bump, it tends to have a more of a, a smoother profile than this one. What I did was uh, increase the tension so that this part here was just sort of more uh, of a linear turn. So I did that, got pretty close, and then I started thinking, well, maybe I should try it a different way. So uh, I next tried to do that with quadratic functions because I thought I would have a little bit more control than I would with using quintic and tension. So if you're going to do a quadratic for this, you're going to be ending up doing, you're going to be doing a bunch of different functions here, basically. You're going to be doing quadratic up to about here, then linear, then more quadratics. So I did try that. I got a really rough version of what I was wanting to see. Uh, but even then, I, I thought, well, this is more trouble than it's worth. Uh, one other thing I should say is that you see that I actually did have to put in some laterals right here at the top of this. It's only about half a G of lateral to get the shape I wanted, and it's still not perfect. So I was like, b and M. I I mean, man, they do not have laterals as far as any b and I've ever ridden that I can recall. I've never had a lateral. So I, I just didn't think I was doing it right. So we moved along to, let's see, version 2.4. What did I do in this one? If we go in here, what did I change? So here, <clears throat> I continue to adjust the force, or the tension rather. Uh, still using a quintic double bump as you see over here, but the tension you see is getting much higher now. It's four. So I was getting closer to the shape I wanted, and I started looking at this, and I thought, well, maybe I've been doing this all wrong the entire time. Maybe it's not a quintic double bump that I should be using. Maybe it's just a straight old quartic function, uh, sort of a flat section-ish in the middle, and another quartic function. And this one here, let's take a ride on it real fast and see what it looks like. And you see the end coming out of that is really weird. Uh, I, I was comparing videos. I was looking side by side. And you see it's really slow at the top. So that one was weird. The shape was getting a little bit more what I wanted, but it was still a little bit weird. So I think I then in 2.6, uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, the exit of that is just a little bit odd. But I was starting to get closer to going in and out of the shape that I was looking for. So you see what I did here was... I did use two different quartic functions here, and I used a quintic double bump in the middle section, just a very small one. So if we take a ride on this one, again, we're starting to get closer to uh, what I was looking for. Uh, it's wider there than it should be, or than it's like it was supposed to be. That, that was one of the trouble we were having before. So I was, I was definitely starting to get more in line with, okay, this is starting to look better. This is definitely starting to look better. So I think I did one more version just to try to clean that up. And this is what we ended up with. Then here's where I, I finally discovered one other thing about Mako. Uh, I thought the entire time that I was doing this, that Mako, this turn was roughly 90 degrees. I thought it went this way and this way. But if we switch over to Google Maps, you'll see that it comes around this lake right here. Unfortunately, the coaster is not in here, but you see it comes around this lake right here. And this is more than 90 degrees because if it were 90 degrees, it would be going off this direction. Uh, and from careful observation, I noticed that the coaster comes about down through here 
and turns and then goes up along here. So that's definitely more than 90 degrees. So let's switch back to FVD real fast. And you'll see that by going more than 90 degrees, I'm really starting to get closer to the shape of what I wanted, particularly uh, viewing it from these angles. From back here, I'm really starting to get closer to the shape that I wanted. And from viewing it coming up this hill right here, I was having a lot of trouble getting the shape coming out of this correct, uh, but it was definitely looking better now. So if we take a ride on this, let's take a one final ride on 2.7. Uh, it's still a little jagged at the top. I could definitely fool around with this and make this better, but I think that this is pretty much about all I'm going to do with this. I think it's close enough. Uh, that Christian can use it for what his purposes are. He can fool around with it. Uh, Christian, you can see here, I did the same thing, just two quartic functions and a quintic double bump with very small change, about 14 degrees in the middle. And then, of course, going in and out of the hills, we've got uh, going down to not quite, let me get, let's take a ride again, not quite to a uh, negative because if you look at the videos going up in here it doesn't it flattens out just a tiniest bit before it goes into this turn so if we took this down to negative it would definitely get much flatter and that's not how it looks if you look at videos uh, so to about right there of course using a quartic function it tightens up just a little bit in the middle and then we go back up to positives coming out of it so I think that's pretty good. Uh, and as a bonus, so Christian, I hope that helps you out. Uh, if not, uh, let me know. Or if anyone has any feedback on this, I'm always willing to hear or to work on some sort of collaboration to get this down perfectly because I would like to see a perfect recreation of it. One thing I did discover while I was doing this was I just kind of came up with this element because uh, I kept fooling around with it. I'm calling this the front side ollie because it reminds me of a skateboarding trick. I really like this. I might use this on uh, some coaster in the future. Really, there's a, a nice elegance to this. Let me start back at the beginning. Uh, so if we start up here, I just really like this inversion a lot. Nice, nice, smooth. Um, that's the kind of inversion I like. So calling out the front side ollie. If anybody wants to use it, go ahead. Uh, I'll probably be using it on another coaster. So that's going to be about it for this episode. Uh, uh, Christian, I think I got pretty close to what you were looking for. So coming up, I know that someone asked me to recreate one of the turns on Val Raven. Uh, and I also got a request for the first drop of any particular b and I think uh, Riddler's Revenge or something like that at Six Flags Magic Mountain was answered or were, was what I was requested. So I'll do those two things in succession. Uh, the next video coming out should be the POV uh, and video for Neon Demons. I've been working on that for quite a few days now. Uh, so that should be coming up. I was slated to go to uh, Texas this weekend to go to Six Flags Fiesta Texas and so forth. But it looks like it might snow here. So I might... Uh, end up just postponing my trip till sometime in April. So we'll see about that. If that's the case, then my first trip of the year will most likely be to King's Dominion on opening day, March 30th. But that's going to be it for this video. We already talked enough. Uh, as always, if you want to see something in FVD recreated or something that you have not been able to do, just let me know and I would be glad to help you out. Otherwise, take care and enjoy the ride.